What is up guys? It's your boy Chris the Shark and today we're going to be talking about a topic that is going to make some people upset but I don't care because I like controversy. So by the way guys if you're new to my channel make sure you like this video make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'm going to be here giving you guys content three times a week on sales training, entrepreneurship, real estate, e-commerce, just all around advice from a millionaire, all kinds of good stuff for you guys. Okay. Today we're talking about an interesting topic. Why it's actually okay to go buy designer clothes, fancy watches, and things that all the gurus tell you you're not supposed to have. If you're an up and coming entrepreneur, at some point you've heard one of the gurus tell you, don't waste your money on nice things, don't go buy Louis Vuitton, don't go buy a car you can't afford, don't go buy nice watches, etc., 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 right? But there's one thing that everybody forgets. Okay? Everybody forgets that in order to be successful, it starts with a feeling. You have to first feel successful. A lot of the old gurus that are out there, they come from a different time and their idea of success might be different than someone coming up in today's generation. A lot of you younger guys, even guys like myself, when I grew up, my idea of success was, you know, having a nice home and a nice car and nice stuff, right? I'll tell you guys a short story. When I first got in the game and I was, you know, just getting my chops and sales, what I really wanted was a nice watch. When I was coming in the game, this is 20 years ago, right? People weren't really talking about like Gucci and Louis and you know, that type of stuff. But the guy that I was working for, he drove a nice Mercedes and he had a nice watch. I went and got myself a Movado. If you guys remember Movado watches, they're still pretty nice to this day. The one I bought back then was a thousand bucks and I actually bought it on payments. Friends, family, aunts and uncles, everybody said I was crazy. I was living beyond my means. I was trying to be something I'm not, blah, blah, blah. But what they didn't realize was that watch made me feel rich. When I put that watch on in the morning and looked at it, I got pumped up, right? And in business, in sales, you have to feel good to produce. That's the bottom line. One thing that all the gurus will agree with is that in order to become rich, you first have to feel it. You have to be in alignment with being rich. And that means whatever your idea of being rich is has to match up to the way you feel. So for me, it started with that watch. Everybody said it was a bad investment, but it wasn't because I'd put it on in the morning and I felt like a million bucks. And when I was at work grinding like this, just pounding the phone, selling, selling, and being rejected all day, I'd kick back and I would look at that watch and I would feel pumped up about it. The same thing happened when I bought my first car. You know, I went and financed a car that I probably shouldn't have had. <laughs> it was like an Infiniti G37, right? Back then it was a huge deal. You know, the payment was like 800 bucks a month. My old bosses and mentors said I was putting myself in debt and blah, 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 right? What they weren't taking into consideration was how it made me feel. That being said, let's dive a little deeper into this. This idea changes, you know, demographically too, right? If you're here in California or in Miami or New York, your idea of success might be nice clothes, nice cars, nice watches, nice dinners, right? Those are the things that we like to do. But if you grew up down south, you know, in farm town in Alabama, it might be the complete opposite. It might be having the oldest truck or the oldest tractor and taking over the family farm, right? Whatever it means to you is what's important. So I wanna make this clear. I'm not here saying, hey everybody, go buy shit you can't afford, go buy Louis Vuitton shoes and go do this and that and go spend all your money on things that you can't really afford. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is there's nothing wrong with rewarding yourself a little bit along the way. And if you're a guy or gal that likes nice things and it makes you feel good, by all means, when you cash that first check and you make $20,000 for the first time, take 10% of it, take two grand, go buy a nice watch, go buy a nice outfit, go buy whatever it is that's gonna wake you up motivated in the morning to go do it again. Because if you sacrifice and sacrifice and sacrifice and never reward yourself, you can actually build that into a habit. That's not a good habit, okay? You hear people talk about delayed gratification. I mean. There's some merit to that, right? But generally speaking, that's not a good habit. To always be putting yourself last is not a good habit, okay? Once again, if you want some nice stuff, go get some nice stuff. Just make sure you don't splurge and go crazy until you reach that level you're trying to get. But trust me guys when I tell you, it all starts with the way you feel. I recommend a really good book. It's called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. It dives really deep into this type of stuff, talking about how feelings lead to action and action leads to results and good results come back and reinforce the same feeling again. Very true, it's very powerful. It all starts with you, okay? You've heard people say before, if you think you can, or you think you can't, 
you're right either way. So what I want you guys to do starting tomorrow is when you wake up, do something that makes you feel good. If you can't afford to do something materialistic or something you like, then start with doing something that's free. You know, maybe it's going for that power walk in the morning. Maybe it's meeting up with friends to go have drinks or to go mastermind at home or do something, but it starts internally. That's the point I'm trying to make, guys. If you want a nice watch, you want to buy designer clothes, you can do it. You can have it all. Remember guys, we live in a world of abundance, right? You don't need to sacrifice to be rich. That's an old school myth. We live in a world of abundance. Everything should be at your fingertips and you should be able to have plenty of it, but it starts with the way you feel. All right, this is your boy, Chris the Shark, signing out. If you like this video, make sure you like it and smash that subscribe button and we'll see you soon on the next one.